Thank you for opening today's video. This video is about Outlook search on the Mac and what to do if it stops working. So if you've come across this where you search for something and you find it actually doesn't come up, it could be one of two things. Either there's no mail that recognizes that term or it could be broken. Now, if it is broken, what you wanna do is go to the Apple logo in the top corner. Now, what I do recommend before we do this actually is to close Outlook. So if you just simply click on the button for Outlook and then go to quit Outlook and go to the Apple logo and then go to system preferences. Just trying to do an update in the background and then go to spotlight. So you'll see two options here, search results and privacy. So what you want to do is hit privacy and then you may see folders in there, but just ignore them. So what you want to do is hit plus and then what you want to do is do command shift and G. This will bring you up a list of options. If you search for anything in the past, if you haven't, it will be blank. But what you want to search for is if you put the little squiggle and then backslash library backslash group containers and backslash is not necessary. Again, you can just do it singly. Um, and then when you go into here, you'll see a list of folders. You want to look for the one that starts with UBF eight. And then it'll have a dot office at the end, but you don't want to double click this, just singly select it, and then it'll bring up the next folder contents. So if you select Outlook and then click choose, what this does is it tells Spotlight to actually exclude that folder from any search. So that would technically stop search from working, but in this instance, we're going to make that work again. So what we want to do is select Outlook now and hit the minus to remove it. So this now tells spotlight it wants to search for that folder so what will happen in the background it'll be doing some searching now this might not work instantly but it will work shortly after that however there is another step if for some reason that this doesn't fix the issue you may have to remove the profile but what I'm going to show you is more relevant on Microsoft 365 or G Suite if you don't have any of those two then give us a call and we can certainly help you through it if you can't resolve it from just looking online there. So if you, what you want to do next is you want to go to the applications folder. I've already got it open here and you want to find Microsoft Outlook. If you right click and then go to show package contents and then hit, go into the contents and go to the shared support folder now, and then you'll see Outlook profile manager. If you open this up, now you'll see your profiles listed here. Now on Windows, this is usually located in the control panel, but on a Mac, it's within the actual program file. Um, so what you're gonna do is if you're ready to remove, just hit remove. Now, if for some reason that that doesn't fix it or it doesn't remove itself, it could be being a bit stubborn. So what you wanna do there, you go here and go to Command, Shift and G. And again, you've got a little squiggle and then library and group containers. It's remembered it from earlier. So if you go in here and then you go into each one G9 dot office at the end and then into Outlook and Outlook 15 profiles. Now it may say Outlook 16 or Outlook 17. It depends on when you're looking at this video because as they release new ones, it may change. So you'll see this one. This is main profile, that's my profile. So you can right click and move that to bin. If there are multiple, it might be that you have to move, remove more than one. You may have had a legacy profile. Also remember, only do this if you're using G Suite or Microsoft 365. If your mail is not installed on the server, then it could be a problem and you may lose data. So give us a call. I suggest 01423 423 068 and we're happy to help you or check out hamiltonsystems.co.uk. But doing this should fix the problem. If we then open up Outlook, it should then restore it. Um, thank you. Thank you for reaching the end of this video. If you'd like this video and you want to see more content from us, please hit the like and subscribe, and also the bell notification, which lets YouTube keep you up to date. And if you want to hire us for a project, please head over to hamiltonsystems.co.uk and in the top right hand corner, you'll find a hire us button. We'd love to hear from you soon. Thank you.